Hello friends, we are in the Beis HaChaim in Frankfurt am Main and we're standing in front of the Matseva of the Pnei Yeshua. Now the Pnei Yeshua had a very interesting relationship with the Kehillah in Frankfurt. A little bit of his, the background is that the, he was born in 1680, the Pnei Yeshua was born in 1680 in Poland, in Reiche. And when the Chacham Tzvi passed away in Lemberg, he took over as the rabbi in in Lvov, Lemberg. Now, in the year 1702, there was a big explosion. There was a warehouse next to the Jewish quarter full of gunpowder that had exploded. And all the buildings toppled down and the Pnei Yeshua found themselves under a bunch of rubble. He, he writes himself that he, 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 he couldn't even feel his hands and his feet, but Hashem made him a way out. He saw the light and he was able to crawl out and he promised, he promised that if he'll come out alive, he will be dedicate his life with the teaching, teaching and disseminating Torah for, for Talmidim and learning Shasa Poiskim. So eventually, when Rabbi Yankif uh, Katz Papira, she was the rabbi of Frankfurt, passed away, they were looking for a rabbi to take over his place. And the Pnei Yeshua had been then the rabbi in Metz, and he was brought to the, the most prestigious uh, community, one of the Prague maybe would also be one of the prestigious ones at Frankfurt. And he was brought over here to teach. He had a big yeshiva, a lot of Talmidim, thousands of Talmidim that he taught. But the Pnei Yeshua was, was, very, had a very, was very strong in character. And there was two families, very influential families that uh, were elected. There were 12 elected officials that led the, the, the community in Frankfurt. One was Mishpachas. They were called the family Kalf, and what was the family Khan? And they fought between each other bitterly, and the Pnei Yeshua tried to mediate, and none of them were happy. Another, another issue was at that time, there was the big uh, dispute between Abiyanki of Enden and Abiyanki of Naibshitz. And although the Pnei Yeshua took the side of Abiyanki of Enden, and against, against the Abiyanki of Naibshitz, who was... Uh, uh, assumed that he had written a Kamea that had some questionable leanings toward, towards Sabbateanism. Um, but the, since, the Pnei, since the Pnei Yeshua tried to mediate, because he was a good friend of Abiyanis Naipshitz, he didn't take it as a personal matter, they actually, Rahman al-Islam, accused the Pnei Yeshua of being um, siding with, with Abiyanis Naipshitz. The Pnei Yeshua couldn't take it anymore, and he left uh, in 1753. He left to, to, to live in the city of Vermeiza. Now, and uh, a couple of years later, in 1756, uh, uh, um, the community sent a, sent a delegation to Frankfurt. It was Erev Shabbos Agudol, before Pesach, that he should come return uh, to Frankfurt and they'll, they'll accept him back as their rabbi. When he came back and he was going to give the, uh, the customary uh, sermon before Pesach, the Shabbos, the Shabbos Hagudel Gdusha, so this, these, some of, the, some of these uh, old antagonists of the, these, these families interrupted his speech. The Pnei Yeshua stood up and he said, I thought that this Shabbos is going to be a Shabbat Shuva, meaning a Shabbat that's the sermon that's usually given before the high holidays, that you should do Tshuva, you should do repentance. But in the meantime, it's Shabbos Shuvah. Shuvah, a play of words meaning, I'm just going to return from where I came. I'm leaving. And that's what he did. On, on, right after Pesach, he left to a city not far from here, Offenbach, eight kilometers from, from Frankfurt. And there he passed away. But when he had passed away, he had asked that he should be buried and be interred in Frankfurt because here is where he had disseminated most of his Tamid and most of his, his learning was done in Frankfurt and Matzah, and Matzah Shabbos. They had brought him by hand. They carried him all the way here. And on, and on, on a Sunday in the year, um, I think it was 1757, he was laid to rest over here. And the Nusim, the, 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 the Abish, the Abish, his name was, he was the, 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 uh, the, rab, the, the performing rabbi at the time. When he held, when he held his, 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 his hespit, his eulogy, he said that the Pnei Yeshua was born Noilet Be'emes 
And Nifte Beyoisha. That's the acronym of the year that he passed away. But it means that he was born Tamim, meaning he was born righteous, and he, and he, and he, and he passed away also in righteousness.